Hey everybody, what is going on? Physics here, back again with another episode of Car vs. Car. Hey, what is going on everybody? Physics here, and in today's Car vs. Car, we're going to race the Infernus vs. the Osiris. In case you guys are wondering, these are the settings that we're using for the custom track that I created. And we're going to be taking off the catch-up and also the slipstream, so that way both cars use their own engines and whatnot, and there is no outside help from the game. So, if you guys have never seen the Car vs. Car series, basically the way it is is on the custom track, or in the airport, whichever one we're doing, today it's the custom track. We end up lining up two cars that we want to race. These are two supercars right here, the Osiris is on the left, the Infernus is on the right. Oh, we go and we throw a grenade. And we see once it blows up, we both go and, and start off the race that way would be the fairest way rather than somebody saying, ready, set, go. Because the person who says, ready, set, go, that's the person who has the advantage. So, as you can see, we kind of had a little bit of a shaky start, but we didn't really bother too much because I had a feeling that the Osiris, based off of the stats, the Osiris was going to dominate the Infernus. So, um, coming off that little shaky start, you get to see the Osiris actually use... The, all of the speed and all the acceleration that it has and it basically starts pulling away from the Infernus. The Infernus is a really good car I think, it's a really sweet looking car, it looks good, it, you know, it drives good, but at the end of the day the Osiris just has way too much power, it's got way too much acceleration and it has just enough of that top speed to end up pulling away. As you can see, we're a good five car lengths away and we're barely halfway through this track. This is a very very long track the reason why I made it this long was because a lot of people say that certain cars, more notably the Adder, doesn't have enough of a track for it to reach its top speed. In this track, there really is no excuse for any car not to reach its top speed. As you can see, we got a real big difference right here in the lead. There's probably easily about, about what, like a seven car lead right there, if not more. So anyways, the Osiris, as you can see, much more dominant vehicle, much faster in every aspect of the way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys are enjoying the car versus car series. If you guys are, go ahead and drop a like on the video. It really does help out my channel tremendously. Again, thank you guys for all of your support. You guys have been awesome. I, I can't ask for any better subscribers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Drop that like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next car versus car. Peace. Okay.